award ceremonies and these all star games, stuff like that. And I think he's really speaking about like uh, institutional support. So uh, hold on, man. Let me turn this off real quick and get this going. Gotta sign in real quick. <laughs> Yeah, but he, he made some good points. But he got a, it's a whole it's an Instagram story though that he put up. Let's see. So let's view the story. Here we go. Uh, screen share. For my for years and years. All right, here we go. Here, here's a story. So y'all y'all watch this. Watch this. Let's see what's up. All right, everybody. Let's make this as. Just the last one, y'all.
whole display. You see Khalil Baker, Nias Williams, and Kenny freaking Gallup in the Oklahoma Hall of Fame. Oklahoma Sports Hall of Fame. Next to all the Thorpe Award winners. There's a fraternity now. Khalil Baker was the first one to establish the fraternity. There's going to be Kenny. And who comes after that? It doesn't seem like people understand how major that is. That is huge. You don't miss out on that. You don't. It's inexcusable, man. I'm going to end it with this. We're doing way too much work to get lackadaisical support from our institutions and for our players. There's no reason why a young man from one of our institutions had no support from his institution at one of the biggest ceremonies in college football. The Thorpe Award is probably the best award in college football, and we are directly aligned with it. That's not okay. It'll never be okay. Don't take this as a shot. Take this as I care and I will need us to do better. Y'all ask for national spotlight. I'm literally doing everything in my power to give it to you. Others are doing the same. Don't make us look bad. That's all I got to say. Much love. All right, man. Woo. Hey, that was one of them ones. Let me, uh, let me take all this off, man. Uh, that was one of them ones. That that boy G G has something to say. Uh, and what I will say first off, uh, shout outs to G. Uh, respect to G. Respect to Draft HBCU and what they do. Uh, for the the players, the teams, institutions, uh, and really a lot of HBCU sports, man. Draft HBCU. What I will say, they've uh they put a stamp on you and it sticks. So it was disheartening. Try to break this down as best I can. It was disheartening to hear, first off, how he feels, and I've seen it too, though, that institutions don't uh, highlight draft HBCUs all-conference teams. That's what he was talking about, all-conference teams. You know what I mean? When the season comes up and, and draft HBCU drops their all-conference team and they put it uh, – just throwing a school out there, Lane College doesn't post, oh, our players made on a draft HBCU team. But – and this is my homie, too, so I ain't going to really – I'm not trying to really put him in this position, but he is. Blue Bloods puts out his publication and says, here are my All-American players. And say Institution Lane decides to post that on their Twitter profile. Oh, Blue Bloods just named a so-and-so player on the first team and so-and-so on the second team and whoop de whoop But you didn't mention draft HBCU. So that's how I took that, to be honest. I, may, maybe maybe G was talking about different. I'm going to try to get G on the show next week so we can talk a little bit more because that was a good conversation to be had. And uh, D2, yeah, nah, I feel that, man. D2 said, I hate that, man. And, yeah, nah, for sure, the def different struggles. Every uh, institution is a little bit different. But uh, even the institution that he was speaking to, I'm, I'm like, decoding all this right now, basically. Uh, at the end, he's speaking about the Aeneas Williams Award and how major it is. So I, I didn't know that the Aeneas Williams Award is connected to the Jim Thorpe Award, and it's actually a partnership. Uh, it's only been two years of the award, so Khalil Baker won it the first year, Kenny Gallup won it this year. And what I'm hearing from G is that nobody from Howard showed up. That's what I'm getting. I mean, somebody from Howard changed, uh, changed the narrative. I don't know. Erica, tell me something different. What I'm getting from this is that nobody from Howard pulled up. <laughs> <laughs> that's what i'm getting i'm getting it was g that was there maybe it was a couple kenny family members and that was it how do you not show up to a national award how you not show up to a national award you don't send anybody send a coach administrator you know what i mean athletic administrator but d Law, what you gotta say man at the end of the day somebody's gonna hurt me hey, no matter what Gonna be hurting my ear. I mean, I don't know. The way the way I see it though, with with G, what G is saying though is that he feels as though their work at Draft HBCU is going unnoticed, and it's not going unnoticed. G, I, I'll be the first to say that. And uh, the fact that you feel like that, I, I do feel bad that he feels like that because the work that they're doing is amazing work. You know, what I mean, they're documenting all this stuff. You know, even all the little analysis I do, they do a much better job documenting their stuff and keeping the numbers and updating numbers 
consistently throughout the week. They have a nice team. So I love what they're doing, and I would hate for them to feel discouraged in doing what they're doing. You know, that's that's really what I hate about this whole situation because they do a great job. I would hate for them to not be around. Uh, so moving along.